Batman and Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze was a brilliant scientist and inventor. One day, he and his wife Nora were caught in a laboratory explosion. Mr. Freeze's body chemistry was so changed by the explosion that he could survive only by wearing a special cold suit that controlled his temperature. Nora was never found. Mr. Freeze mourned the loss of his beloved wife, but soon his grief turned to anger. Using a nice gun he'd invented, he went on a crime spree. But Batman and Robin soon stopped Mr. Freeze, and he was sent to Arkham Asyl Asylum. There, he remained until he was kidnapped by a robot. Later in the Batcave, Batman and Robin watched the kidnapping on a video that the police had supplied. That looks like a robot from Oceana, the floating city that Grand Walker built, Robin said. Get the bat board, said Bo Batman. We are going to Oceana. Meanwhile, the robot delivered Mr. Freeze to Walker. I've bought you here to complete my giant ice cannon, said Walker. I'm not interested in your invention, said Mr. Freeze. Oh, but you will be, Walker said, opening a curtain and revealing a shadowy figure. Mr. Freeze gasped. Nora? I found her after the explosion, Walker explained, and I have the technology to revive her, but only if you help me with the cannon. Nora, Mr. Freeze whispered, I do anything for her. Just then, an alarm sounded. Your old enemies, Batman and Robin, have arrived. Walker told Mr. Freeze, My shark boats will take care of them while you work on the ice cannon. Look out, Robin yelled as the skateboards approached. Jump, Robin, Batman cried, using batarangs and duo swung to safety. As the shark boats destroyed the bat boat, Batman and Robin located a secret entrance to Oceana. Once inside Oceana, Batman and Robin found their way to the main office. What is this? Robin wondered, looking at the model of Oceana surrounded by ice. Is Walker building a city at the North Pole? Not quite, answered Walker, surprising them. It's a model of my new world, thanks to Mr. Freeze genius. My ice cannon is complete. Now I can freeze everything outside Oceana and live here with my robots and friends. Walker signaled Mr. Freeze to fire his ice gun. Batman and Robin were instantly trapped. I've done all you've asked, Mr. Freeze said to Walker. The cannon is ready, now revive Nora. After I use the ice cannon, shouted Walker, running from the room. You must free us, Batman urged Mr. Freeze. Think, would Nora want to live in a frozen world you helped create? Realizing Batman was right, Mr. Freeze summoned his amazing strength and smashed the ice. Batman and Robin raced to the control room to stop Walker. Seconds later, Mr. Freeze rushed in and changed the setting on the ice cannon. An alarm sounded. You fool, Walker screamed. You activated the self-destruct. We'll be blown out of the water. Sparks flew from the cannon. The floor buckled. Walker screamed as he and the cannon crashed through the opening in the floor. We have to get out of here, yelled Batman. No, shouted Mr. Freeze. I won't live without Nora. Robin tried to grab Mr. Freeze, but the villain froze him with the ice gun. Then the entire floor collapsed and Mr. Freeze disappeared. Batman 
carried his frozen friend onto the boat at the docks. As they speeded to safety, Oceana crumbled behind them. Back in the bat cave, Robin thought out slowly. We stopped Walker's plan to freeze the world, he said. But what about Mr. Freeze? asked Alfred the butler. Mr. Freeze won't stop until he and his wife are together again, said Batman. I'm sure we haven't seen the last of him.